This is an applications presentation of laser geography being used for aerospace NET inspections. The applications covered into this presentation will include nacelles, cowlings, fairings and radomes. The applications covered in this presentation include nacelles, cowlings, radomes and fairings. There are examples of aramid honeycombs, aluminium honeycombs, hybrid honeycombs so consisting of carbon fiber reinforced plastic and aramid fiber, and also aramid fiber reinforced plastic honeycombs. This is a reference panel of a nacelle for a turbofan engine. The construction of this component is from aramid skin, one millimeter thickness, aramid honeycomb, core of 29 millimeter thickness and aramid skin of one millimeter thickness on the bottom. The test object size is 500 millimeters by 350 millimeters. This application was inspected through thermal excitation. Two 1000 watt spot halogen heat lamps were applied for a duration of six seconds to the test object. The duration of the inspection took approximately 15 seconds and the inspection rate was 0.5 meters squared per minute. Seven indications were caused through impact damage. A metallic ball was dropped at varying different heights, yielding a potential energy simulating an impact of a specific energy level. Defects A to G are all representations of impact damages, so specifically localized disbonding but also crush cores. Defect E is an indication for the highest potential energy used for the test simulating impact damage. Indication A is the lowest energy simulation impact. This is a nacelle of a rocket booster. The construction of the object is aluminium skin, aluminium honeycomb. Using vacuum ambient excitation, a pressure step from 0 to 15 kilopascals was applied. There were multiple defects detected in this application. A is an example of crash cores and no bond splits. B, inserts. C, crack cores and no bond splits. D, an isolated disbond. And E, disbonds. This is an application of a carbon fiber reinforced plastic skin, aramid fiber honeycomb radome. The test object size is 330 millimeters by 250 millimeters. For this application, vacuum ambient excitation was applied from zero to five kilopascals. The duration of this inspection was four seconds and the inspection rate was 1.5 meters squared per minute. What's notable from this application inspection is that the individual cells of the sample are detectable using laser stereography. It's very, very clear where the cells are become despondent and where no bond splits occur, and also areas of whereby there are fluid ingresses as well within inside the sample. Again, there are multiple defects detectable from the phase display. A is an indication of a fluid ingress, and C and B are multiple indications of no bond splits and localized and also global disbonding between the skin and the core. This is an application of aluminum skin and aluminum honeycomb component. The test object size was 350 millimeters by 150 millimeters by 30 millimeters in thickness. This component was inspected using vacuum ambient but also thermal excitation. Using two different shear settings of 2.5 millimeters and 5 millimeters, it's noticeable the difference in the respective number of fringes and density of fringes. It is also clear to see the individual cell cores within inside the sample, indicating on both cases that there are eight major defects. The results using thermal excitation weren't as prominent as the results obtained using vacuum ambient excitation. It is still clear, however, there are multiple defects that can still be detected. On the left are two application videos of the measurement procedure using vacuum ambient excitation and thermal excitation. On the right are the respective phase display results using either of the two applications. 
Using vacuum ambient excitation, a reference step is made. The vacuum is adjusted. And a pressure jump is initialized. The pressure jump, as we are now seeing, is a live measurement taken in a real-time phase display mode. Using thermal excitation, heat is applied for a duration. The sample heats up. The surface expands towards the direction of the camera. And the fringes, as what can be seen, are captured in the real-time mode. This sample was also an aluminum skin, aluminum honeycomb component. The test object size was 250mm by 210mm by 26mm in sample thickness. Because the surface was shiny, the sample was mounted at a 30 degree angle to reduce the glare. White powder spray was also applied to the surface. Using vacuum ambient excitation with a 5 kilopascal pressure jump and a 10 kilopascal pressure jump, two different shoe settings were used of 2.5 millimeters and 5 millimeters. What is notable is that the higher the pressure step and the higher the shear, the more dense the fringes will appear. As can be seen, there are cases here of multiple localized disc bonds. This application using thermal excitation is performed on a ray dome taken from a civil aircraft. Usually this inspection requires 30 minutes via a tap hammer. Using laser serography, the inspection required only 3 minutes and the results are completely reliable and reproducible. Indicated here inside the ray dome, the green section, was a patch repair. The duration of the inspection per section took approximately 10 seconds and the inspection rate was 0.7 meters squared per minute. The entire radome can be measured in 16 sections. For the upper S2 case, it is clear that there is a complete and perfect patch repair applied to the radome. This is a measurement recording of all the individual sections. The final application is a fairing of a business jet used with vacuum ambient excitation. For this particular application, a robot was used that can apply thermal excitation but also vacuum ambient loading within inside the vacuum chamber. The measurement time per inspection was approximately 10 seconds and the robot was fully programmable it performed the application and measurement at every single step and then moved to another location in continuation to complete and inspect the entire fairing. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or comments regarding the application of laser stereography NET, please contact Dantec Dynamics.